Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be playing Picayune. Yoon. Piki Yoon Dreams, I think is actually the name of the game. Piki Yoon Dreams. There'll be a link for this game in the description down below. Go check it out. This was given to me by Two Left Thumbs on Lurk It. It's been a while. It's been a minute, but I think I'm still on time for the when the video is supposed to come out. So hopefully, we'll be able to get these two videos out real quick. Actually, I only need to do one now. I just recorded two videos, and for some reason, my microphone wasn't working. And I'm hoping it's working now, because if it's not, it's going to be real upsetting. Anyway, we just did a run. And we already put skill points into our skill tree. This is very similar to anything that's like a um, any any kind of roguelike. This has roguelike elements with a skill tree here that you can uh, equip these different abilities. You can pause the screen if you would like to see some of the starter abilities. There's no demo in this game as far as I know. So the game is available over on Steam. You can go get it now. Again, I will leave links for all that stuff in the description down below. We're gonna try to get some more. We're gonna try to get some more experience going into the next run. So let's put me up here. All right, and then we're gonna. Go for a run. System start, I think, is how this works. Okay, so the gist that I have from the last two recordings is we are somebody that... Oh, my thing is doing the thing again. What is that? Hold on a second. What is the scan button? keyboard there's a sneak button oh auto arm does it for me and then what's the sneak button oh it's a little slow moving thing all right cool anyway so what i've got the gist of this game is is that we are somebody that was um was going into a space program, signed off our body and our mental health. Uh, we got a big cutscene and everything like that. I suggest if you buy this game, go play it. It seems to have a dark, a dark like covering over it. Um, and now we are an android floating through space, trying to destroy things. So these things here all have a, a little skull rating above them. We've got three bombs above my head, and we're gonna head towards this guy because it's a, uh, it's um, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, it's got a skull rating of one, and that's what we need right now. We got a couple things we can do here. There's a fast forward button, which is something that I feel like most Vampire Survivor games don't have, unless that's the new thing that Vampire Survivor games have. Um, but I haven't seen, I don't really think I've seen Vampire Survive Gamers, va va Vampire Survivor games with a speed up button, because it makes shit like this better. There we go, look at that. I also like that the experience in this game shows up as like little tens, tens, twenties, and ones and zeros, kind of like binary code, like in most or most games that you would see, well, or, sh or movies, I guess, that show like the the um, the Matrix. Uh, it's it's like that, which is very cool. Uh, these guys here all use this text down at the bottom left to show you like, oh, this does weapon size, this does pickup radius, this does, and then it shows you like uh, the, the it does like a slash thing. This is like your melee weapon. But we're gonna pick up the crown so we can pick up things quicker or easier. Dude, my heartburn is really bad. We're gonna speed this up a little bit because we can. I want this crate. Thank you for the crate. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a free power-up? Let's go. All right, we'll take the damage then, I guess. I believe is what that, that button does, is the damage. That, that pipe that pipe item. What's this? Nice. I'll take all that. I'm gonna get a get a little get a little speed up going here. Alright, alright. Yep. Oh, what is that? Oh, go waga, get him out of here. Go waga. Crate, get the crate, get the crate. I want that crate. I want that crate. Let me get out of here. Okay. Got it. Oh, he's going to kill me. Got him. Pop him. Oh, we're so close to a level up. I'm going to go black hole. I'm going to go black hole. Cool. We got the black hole going. You can't unspeed up when you're in speed up mode, which is very interesting to me. Uh, We're going to take the core because the core lets us have more bullets, which I like. I love bullet hells that uh, have, that lets you do extra bullets. Like when you're playing those, like, you know those, um, 
those plane games, like the spaceship games, you're like, it's like the top view above their heads. And then they, uh, oh, we got them on the bomb too, sick. Uh, not like Galaga, like I can't think of what they are. They're, I feel like I've played only Flash games. Like you see the, those plane games in arcades and you go in and you'll pick up power ups. So there's like the laser power up, the pew pew power up, the, the bombs and all that stuff like that. Um, we're gonna do another core. Yeah, three bullets, baby. Oh, I'm going big. I'm going big. I'm going big. Yeah, no, screw that. I'm going big. Can't stop me. You just keep throwing it in this direction and hope to kill some guys. All right, we're going to kill him. We're going to kill him. Remind me to go in that direction to get all the experience. Let's get rid of this crate. Oh, yeah, look at all that experience. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. That's the stuff. Oh, gosh. Okay, that they, they are coming quickly. Did we get four bullets now? We sure do. Love this. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, walk into my bullets. Just walk into my bullets. Yeah, just keep walking into my bullets. It's perfectly fine. This reminds me of so many different kinds of bullet hells, and I also like that it has that vampire survivor's vibe to it, where it's like you, but I get to control everything. So like, this is like a vampire survivor sort of game, but at the same time, it's not. It's different in the sense of like, it's unique in the way that I can control where my bullets go, which is nice. I bet if I picked up that slashing power up though, that would still be random or like, maybe it would swing kind of in the direction that I'm pointing. Because my mouse is in control. I'm, I'm the one controlling these bullets right now, which is crazy. I'm in control. No one control my life, is what, like, somebody would say, you know, if, if they didn't have control over their life. Um, the parasite's kind of cool. Or oh, you get more bullets. Uh, let's do the parasite. I feel like the parasite would be really good against the boss. I could be wrong. Because, see, he sits there and he jumps from host to host and he kills them, like, little by little, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to go big. I'm going to go big. I saw that guy with 900 health. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go big just so I don't die. And we're gonna try to save a bomb for the boss and see if that does anything for us. Oh, that was a hell. That was a, that was a heal. Nice. So gross. All right, let's get the five. All right, let's do it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. That's the stuff. Blow him up. Look at this. Look at the parasite go. Look at him go. Look at him go. He's like, oh, man, I got him, boss. Don't worry. Thanks, Needles. I've got a hey, boss. I got him. Don't worry about it. I'll stop him for you. What a guy. What a guy. Incoming transmission. So we got to clear out these guys first. We clear out these enemies first, and then we get to do the transmission. I'm going to speed this up because it's a speed up button in the game, baby. It's part of the game. Let's try to get this level up, too, before we start the boss fight. Or more, more realistically, I think how it works is you get the power. No, I do get the power up now. Um, yeah, let's upgrade our parasite. Okay, they're all dead. All right, slow this down a little bit. Part of me wishes they wouldn't. Yeah, this crazy bunny. I don't know what the bosses are in this game or what the the point is, but he. I the first transmission they gave us. I didn't record. I didn't record the thing that happened, but. The first transmission he gave us was something about finding the carrots. You gotta find the carrots. Um, and I didn't know what that was about. I had no idea what that was about. And then we had an hallucination or a dreamscape or something like that. And then there were carrots and rabbits and a mailbox. And the mailbox brought us to a different thing that was like sort of like an Undertale sort of vibe looking place. Okay, first of all, I didn't know that the black hole did that. I didn't know that the black hole did that. I should have been saving the black hole for the boss the whole time. Can you imagine grabbing all the balls from this section and then using it to fight the boss? The orb in your the orb in your stomach is like your hitbox. That's what I'm trying not to get hit. God damn it. Oh, I'm dying. No, I'm living. I'm living. We actually won. Oh my god, we actually won. Oh no, I didn't. We lost. God damn. Do you consent? Yes or no? Oh man. Okay, yeah. So this is what happened last time. So this happened. This happened when I died, and this is how the game. Like, I'm gonna hit. Sp I'm gonna hit space. Oh wait, wait, there's no story. There's no story. I guess we have to keep defeating bosses in order to get the little story bits. I recommend this game fully. This is kind of creepy. I like games that have this creepy overshadowing uh, backstory that's like kind of scary and dreadful. A um, lot of fun. A lot of a lot of sick times here. Again, this is Pikayoon Dreams. Uh, you can get this over on Steam. Go check it out. Again, thank you, Two Thumbs or. Um, 
two right thumbs. Thank you, two, right, two left thumbs for giving... I, keep, I forget if it's right or left. My, I do have to do this sometimes. Uh, anyway, two left thumbs. Thank you so much for the code over on Lurkit. Guys, like, comment, subscribe, and we can get more of these videos out for you. Uh, again, if you have any recommendations for indie games, I should check out, especially if they have demos and stuff like that. Again, leave it in the comments down below. Check the description for all the links that you need, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.